video, I want to show you all how easy it is to make baked fish. Have you ever just wanted something delicious that wasn't fried, it wasn't battered, you know what I mean? So today we're going to do a baked cod that is beautiful, delicious, packed with flavor. We're going to pair it up with yellow squash. Here's the ingredients you're going to need. I'm super excited. Yellow squash. You're going to need some lemon, some butter, cod. If you don't like cod, get your favorite fish. You're going to need some spices to make everything taste amazing. Salt, pepper, parsley flakes, um, Old Bay seasoning, paprika. We're going to use a really interesting ingredient, turmeric. And we're also going to use some garlic powder. Make sure your hands are clean. Let's get started with this amazing baked cod recipe, Gina Young style. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and season up our fish. Turn your oven on 350 degrees. And I like to use just this baking pan here. Okay, this is like a cookie sheet. All right, and you may get a little bit of liquid from your fish and so um, just make sure you don't use something completely flat, all right? So now let's season this fish up very good. Really, you only have to season just one side, okay? Honestly, if you wanted to season both sides, you know you can, all right? We're going in heavy with the garlic powder, okay? Turmeric brings a great color, a beautiful flavor, okay? And great health properties. There's that turmeric, that beautiful color. All right, just like so in this manner. My oven is preheated. And then we're gonna put some paprika. Paprika is also for color. This is not the smoked, okay? And this is just gonna be so flavorful, so juicy and delicious. Old Bay seasoning is definitely for seafood, but it's not only for seafood. You can use this on any other meats as well. All right, beautiful, there we go. Get out of there. Parsley flakes, dried parsley flakes, because I like to make everything nice and beautiful. Anything I'm making, I want it to look ple uh, what, what, what pleasingly aesthetic to the eye. I think that's what I wanna say. If it's not what I wanna say, hey, we'll make it work, right? Black pepper, just like so in this manner. They're gonna go in with some salt. And if you're that person that cannot use salt, don't worry about it, just don't use it. And really it's that simple. And if you're feeding other people, they can put salt on it if they please. Okay, I'm gonna put some sea salt on. All right, great. And then we're gonna put a tad of butter and some lemon on the top. Get this into the oven. And it doesn't cook long. What I'll actually do is I'll let you all know exactly how long this beautiful fish took to cook. Okay, come back, we'll slice up a little bit of lemon get some butter and put it on top, get this baby into the oven. Let's go ahead and cut some lemon. I hope y'all are having a great day today. Let me know in the comment section below, what are you making for dinner? I, I love to talk about all kinds of things in the comment section. Sometime, from time to time, you'll see me in the comment section messaging you all back. Okay, here we go. Take a look at how I like to do this. Just like so, how simple, okay? So let's cut a little more, and if you have any seeds, take the seeds off, and then we'll gather some butter, put this in the oven. So what you're gonna notice is I even put seasoning on the lemon. The purpose for doing that is like I told you, I just wanna reiterate that, do what you can to make things look pretty. Even though the lemon is gonna be used as a garnish, after they take that garnish off, they can take that lemon and squeeze it all over, the fish for an addition of flavor, but make it pretty along the way. So what I like to do when I'm baking fish, even when I'm baking chicken, I like to put some type of liquid at the bottom of the pan. Uh, number one, so that your item doesn't stick. And then number two, just to create a little bit of steam, okay? Just kind of get things going. So I have some water, and one thing you don't wanna do is take the water and pour it right over all your seasonings. Then you take all the seasoning away, right? So we're just gonna go in between, okay? We don't need a ton of water because the fish will let off its own water. But that right there, hopefully you guys can see that. That's plenty enough. And so now we're gonna put some butter on. 
my husband just walked in and he said, oh, I'm super excited for this. And you're making yellow squash to go with it? I said, yep. He's like, oh, okay, this is great. Okay, so now remember I said a little tad of butter? There we go. Into the oven we go, and when I come back, I'm gonna show you how I make squash, Gina Young style. Listen, this squash is one of the easiest things you'll ever make. So simple, and it's packed with flavor. When making your squash, you don't wanna use a whole lot of oil. You don't wanna use a lot of butter. One of the last things you wanna do is make this really greasy. It should never be greasy. So if you take a look at my pan here, you'll see how much oil I have in there. Oh, it's just a teeny tiny bit. Gina, that much? Absolutely, that's all you need. And then towards the end of the cooking process of the squash, we're gonna turn around and put just a tad of butter to bring in some amazing flavor, okay? Now, if you don't wanna salt this, you don't have to, okay? That butter that has salt in it, if your butter is salted or unsalted, you know. If it's unsalted, add a little bit of salt. If your butter is salted, you don't have to. Okay, so come on in. I've washed off my squash. When you, listen, I can't stress it enough. You bring those veggies home, you wash them, wash off the pesticides. You never know who's handled them, you know, in the local market before they got to you. Okay, beautiful. Look at the thickness, okay? You never want to make them extremely thin because they'll turn into mush on you, okay? And then you don't want to have them too thick. So something on the lines like that, okay? So we're going to slice them down, get you a large pan, and let's cook these on a medium heat. This isn't something you want to kind of walk away from and go wash clothes. You know, stay nearby because they can burn very quickly. On a medium, medium high, once they get nice, beautiful, and golden brown, that's the color we're looking for. And they do kind of get like a charred color, okay? We're going to salt and pepper them, and you only need to really season one side. Time to get started with our squash. My pan is nice and hot. I don't know if you can hear that sizzle. You want that sizzle. That sizzle is going to assure you that these will be nice and charred. Let me know. I'd love to know this question. Are you the person that anytime you have squash, you have to have nice sweet onion um, sauteed with your squash? I feel like there's so many people in the world that loves onion with your squash. It's for some reason, it's something that I've never done. I, I have yet to try it, um, and I will try it one day. I just always cook it by itself because it has so much flavor. But I'd love to know in the comment section. Let's season salt, pepper, dried parsley flakes. Just season one side. Beautiful. A little bit of salt. I like to do it this way. That way I can make sure that I'm not putting too much, okay? If you've never had yellow squash before, you may wonder what it tastes like. To me, it has a natural buttery taste. Oh my goodness. I, I'm going to step in and say it. I'm just going to say it. This is my favorite vegetable. This is my favorite vegetable. I know you may have seen like a little twinkle in my eye when I said that. Because I can yet say that I love spinach. I do love greens. I do love... Um, butternut squash and things like that. There's a, a lot of vegetables that I can say that I totally love, but this one, it kind of rocks my world. And when you make a Gina Young style, it's going to rock your world. Look at that. <laughs> that's the color. When you achieve that color, that's when it takes to its best potential. Yes, you can make it to where it's still yellow, but guess what? Cook it like that. Like I said, I want to repeat myself. That's where you're going to get the most flavor and it tastes its best. I don't know if y'all can see. Take a look back there. I got even more squash cooking. Okay, so when I come back, um, our fish will be out of the oven. We're gonna give a taste. I'm gonna show you how I'd like to present it. And I'm gonna say a prayer. You're gonna get that first bite. So now take a look. This is what I want your squash to look like. I, I can't stop eating it. Can't stop eating it. Gina, just wait until the fish is done, right? So now, what I did, like I told you all, I put just a little tad of butter as they're um, almost complete cooking, and it'll just really round off the flavor, okay? We're gonna take our fish out here in a minute. Take a look, everybody. This cooked in the oven 25 minutes, 365 degrees. I took it from 350 to 365. Beautiful, how will you know when your fish is done? Well, um, 
when your fish is clear in color, you know it ain't done, right? So when it has that nice bright white, you know it's done. Take a look. I want you to look at this flesh here. Gorgeous, that's what you're looking for. Look at that. And for our squash, <laughs> Nick you so. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends. Tell everyone you know what Jeannie Young's doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Lord, I thank you for this meal. In the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And once again to my prayer, somebody wants a bite. It's okay, I'm going to give you a bite. Let's see how flaky. Look at flaky, flaky, flake. <laughs> Ooh. And this, oh my goodness. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 It's going to rock your world. God bless and good night. Enjoy the recipe. I know I will.